What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're we'll focusing on uh, what's going on in Tampa Bay. As the Lightning are playing some damn good hockey, and um, as someone that took them at 13 and one to win the Cup this year, uh, the fact that they're 9 one and one to open the season is uh, looking pretty good for your boy CJ's uh, bank account. Not to brag, got and I, I did all my gambling legally. I would never go through a bookie or, or anything like that. But you know you. you the two main attractions are Steven Stamkos and Nikita Kucherov. I think last year in Stamkos' absence, we really got a good glimpse of what kind of player Kucherov is. Now, I like them coming out of the Quebec League. I thought he really had some very interesting offensive upside. And uh, he's played three full seasons in the NHL, 29, 30, and 40 goals in each season. Not bad, as the great American Uncle Chaps would say. Actually good. Um, he 80, 85 points last year in a uh, Tampa team that did not have Steven Stamkos for the majority of the season. And then you look at what the music him and Stamkos are creating. I mean, shit, they both have 11 game point streaks to open the season. And I think what's cool is here is not only are we seeing Tampa with a healthy Steven Stamkos, which we haven't seen in almost two years, but the chem the way he's kind of, I don't want to say reinvented his game, but he's a facilitator with Kucherov out there. And it, it's working. You know, if you told me Steven Stamkos would only have four goals in 11 games, I'd be like, what? But 17 assists, and he's, you know, Obviously, his on-ice vision is phenomenal. So, again, he's really helping this Tampa team, you know, be that contender that I thought they were going to be. And if they stay healthy, I think they are. I don't want to say a lock to an Eastern Conference, but, I mean, the depth they have up front, they're, what they can do on defense, and, you know, I think uh, Vasilevsky is the real deal in that. I've said that for five freaking years since he was drafted in the first round by the Lightning. So, again, and they got him signed for a pretty good, pretty cheap contract long term, so... Or not for three year kind of middle deal, but you catch my drift. Um, and the other thing I love about Tampa is obviously their defense. You know, you look at Victor Hedman. We all know how good he is. I mean, you can make the argument. If you, I mean, it wouldn't be a very solid argument, but I've said it before. I mean, maybe he's the best Swedish defenseman in the NHL. Just saying. Uh, but the kid I love is Mikhail Sergachev out of Windsor. You know, you, they get him in the Drouin deal. And you're saying, oh, well, they, they gave up on Drew Ant for a Russian defenseman that's got, you know, they get nine games on the show last year at Montreal. Um, but I, I watched him play for, for Windsor in the Memorial Cup, and I'm like, shit, this kid can play. And, uh, you know, I think, again, he's going to be one of those guys that really morphs into an elite player with this Lightning team. And I think he, he oh, he played four games with the Habs last year, excuse me. Sorry for giving you guys fake news. Um, but I think you look at the way his size, his vision on the ice, his skating ability, he doesn't have to be it, you know, a do-it-all defenseman right away. He can kind of do his job, to quote Bill Belichick, kind of fill a couple niches here and there, and you know, really kind of grow up on a veteran team and do some really good things with that same squad. So, again, I think he's in a really advantageous situation to learn from the veteran defenseman like Victor Edmond, like Braden Coburn, and uh, you know, take his game to the next level. He's also got three more points on the season than Jonathan drew in, but. We'll talk more about that later on a separate piece. But, again, I love what I'm seeing from uh, from this squad. I love that I took them at 13-1 to win the Cup. And I think it's going to be a fun season in Tampa. And I think they will be a team to watch throughout the rest of the 2017-2018 uh, NHL season. If this team stays healthy, look out. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.